Hello everyone. In this uh, session, we will discuss the basic identities, compound angles. Before going into our topic, let us uh, recall once the previous topics, previous identities, trigonometric identities. What is sine minus x? Sine minus x is nothing but minus sine x. Cos minus x is cos x. Then what is cos 2n pi? Cos 2n pi is 1. How? How can you tell? 2n pi means definitely it will be on x-axis. Okay, let us take unit circle. It is nothing but 1 comma 0. First, this represent first x. Abscissa represent cos. That's why cos 2n pi is 1. Then what is cos 2n plus 1 pi? 2n plus y, uh, 2n plus 1 will come here always, 3 pi, 5 pi, like that. So here the point is uh, minus 1 comma 0. So we are finding cos that is nothing but minus 1. Then what is sin n pi? Sin n pi. n value, if you take 1, it will be pi. Sin pi is 0. If you take 2, 2 pi, again sin pi is 0. So sin n pi is nothing but 0 only. So you need to keep some value in the place of n. You need to substitute some value in the place of n. And you need to find out the answer. Once if it is uh, uh, habituated, we can find out the solutions very easily. So finally, we are going to see today the compound angles, trigonometric ratios for a plus b and a minus b and how to find out the values of trigonometric ratios for 15 degrees and 75 degrees and some more identities we are going to discuss today. Let us see now the basic introduction, how to find out uh, this uh, a plus b or sin a plus b or cos a plus b. I have taken here one unit circle. Unit circles radius always un uh, will be one unit. So this point will be one comma zero. So let me take this one as P. I'm taking one more point as Q. Okay, you know that if this angle is some A, I'm taking this angle as A, then this point will be cos A sin A. Okay, if I take another point over here and the angle which is made by that point at the center, as B. This is B. This point will be PQR. Let me take R as cos of A plus B comma sine of A plus B. How can you tell it is sine of A plus B? Just observe, whenever we are considering the angle, we will consider from the x-axis, this entire angle. It is nothing but A plus B. I am taking one more point downside. This is minus B. Let me take this point as S. The point will be cos pi minus B. Okay, this is 2 pi minus B, not pi, 2 pi minus B, comma, sine 2 pi minus B. We know cos 2 pi minus theta is in fourth quadrant, cos is positive. So the point S will come like cos B sine 2 pi minus B is minus sine B. So we got what is point S. We got what is point S. Now you just observe once. Observe once. If I take these two angles, here it is A plus B. If I take these two angles, that is also A plus B only, but there is a change in the sign. That means angle is same, but the direction which you are taking is different. That means these two angles are equal. They will subtend equal sides on the circle. That means we can tell, we can tell here um, SQ is equals to PR because these two are equal sides. How can you tell that? Because these two angles are equal. 
both cases a plus b plus. square on both sides sq square is equals to pr square we know what is s what is q already s and q what you will get cos a minus cos b whole square plus sin a plus sin b whole square distance between two points formula we are using that is nothing but equals to distance between r and p distance between r and p cos of a plus b minus 1 whole square plus sin of a plus b minus 0 whole square okay all this will come under square root so you can uh, remove square root both side then what you will get cos a minus cos b whole square sin a plus sin b whole square so you can write here cos a square uh, sorry cos square a plus cos square b minus 2 cos a cos b here we will get sin square a plus sin square b plus 2 sin a sin b right hand side we will get cos square of a plus b minus uh, plus 1 minus 2 cos of a plus b the other one as it is plus sin square of a plus b just observe cos square a any other cos square a is there cos square b any other cos square b is there just observe cos square a plus sin square a is 1 cos square b plus sin square b is 1. So, we are getting 2 minus 2 cos a cos b plus 2 sin a sin b is equals to just observe cos square a plus b sin square a plus b is 1. 1 plus 1 minus 2 cos of a plus b. Okay. So, we can remove same numbers from both sides. 2, I am removing. Then what you will be left here? Minus 2 cos A cos B plus 2 sin A sin B is equals to cos of A plus B. Uh, 2 times of cos of A plus B. Okay. Now you just observe from all terms I can remove the 2. Here minus we have. So be careful. If I rearrange all these, what I will get? Cos of A plus B I can write as cos A cos B minus sin A sin B. This is how we will derive compound angle formulas for different trigonometric ratios. All these formulas we will derive like that only. Sin of A plus B, sin of A minus B, cos of A plus B, cos of A minus B, tan of A plus B, tan of A minus B, cot of A plus B, cot of A minus B. And if you add these two, you can remove plus and minus term, you will get 2 sin A cos B, which we have written here. If you add these two, you can remove this plus and minus term and you will be left with 2 cos A cos B, this formula, subtraction. So, these are the formulas which you should uh, remember to solve some questions. Okay, let us see some example. How to find out sin 15, one of the very important one. How to find out sin 15? Just observe, 
this sign 15 i can write as 45 minus 30 sign 45 minus 30 45 minus 30 is 15 but i can apply here sign of a minus b formula sign a minus b is sign a cos b minus cos a sin b so formulas are very important if you wanted to solve any question in the entire intermediate so you will get sin 45 into cos 30 minus cos 45 into sin 30. We already know what is sin 45. Sin 45 is 1 by root 2. Cos 30 is root 3 by 2 minus cos 45 is 1 by root 2. Sin 30 is 1 by 2. Denominator is same in both fraction both uh, terms so you will get here 2 root 2 here it is root 3 minus 1 okay sin 15 degrees is nothing but root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2 if you want uh, if you don't want root 2 in the denominator you can rationalize it and you will get another uh, term we already know sin 15 is nothing but cos 75 is nothing but complementary angles Sin 15 is nothing but cos 75. Same like this, you will find out the solution for cos 15 also. Apply the formula. Cos 15 is uh, nothing but cos 45 minus uh, 30, which is nothing but cos of A minus B. Cos A minus B formula I am writing here. Cos of A minus B is cos A cos B plus sin a sin b okay cos of a plus b is cos a cos b plus sin a sin b so you will get here cos 45 into cos 30 plus sin 45 into sin 30 then you will get 45 cos 45 is 1 by root 2 cos 30 is root 3 by 2 plus sin 45 is 1 by root 2, sin 30 is 1 by 2. So finally, we will get here root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2. So with the help of these two, we can find out what is tan 15. Tan 15 is nothing but sin 15 by cos 15. Okay. Sin 15 by cos 15. Sin 15 already we found root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2 root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2. Cos 15, we got like root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2. Root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2. If we cancel this, we are getting root 3 minus 1 by root 3 plus 1. Rationalize the denominator. Root 3 minus 1 by root 3 minus 1. You will get a minus b whole square, which is nothing but a square plus b square minus 2ab, 2 root 3, divided by a plus b into a minus b a square minus b square formula we can use and we will get here 3 minus 1, 4 minus 2 root 3 divided by 3 minus 1 is 2. So finally we will get here the answer like 2 minus root 3, okay, just uh, Take out 2 common and cancel. You will get 2 minus root 3. This is tan 15. If you have tan 15, obviously cot 15 also you can find out very easily. Okay. This is how we will derive sin 15, cos 15, tan 15. We have one more example here. Cos 100, cos 40 degrees plus sin 100, sin 40 degrees. Find out the solution. This is somewhat of the form cos A cos B plus sin A sin B. Just observe here A 100 degrees, here A 100 degrees, they should be same. Here 40 degrees B, here also 40 degrees B only, which is nothing but cos of A minus B. Cos of A minus B is cos A cos B plus sin A sin B. So we will get the solution like cos of 100 minus 40, which is nothing but 
cos 60. We know cos 60 is root 3 by 2. Same like this, try to find out this. Cos 340. Cos 340 is 360 minus 20. So I can write here cos 20. Because in fourth quadrant, cos is positive. Into cos 40, sin 200. This we can write as sin 180 plus 20. So one sin 180, sin 180 plus 20 is minus. Okay, sin 180 plus 20 is minus sin 20. Into sin 140. Sin 140 is 90 plus 90 plus or 180 minus 40. Sin 180 minus 40 is nothing but sin 180 minus 40 is nothing but sin 140. So sin 180 minus means sin second quadrant only. So we will get sin 40. Okay. Cos A cos b minus sin a sin b this uh, you can take a bracket if you want so again we can use the formula this one cos a cos b minus sin a sin b which is nothing but cos of a plus b so what you will get finally this is our formula we will get cos of 20 plus 40 which is nothing but cos 60, which is cos 60 is 1 by 2. This is how we will derive solutions. See, we have a question here. In triangle ABC, cosecant A into sin B cos C cos B sin C is equals to what? They have given four options. Let us NOA means none of the above. Now what we need to do? We will solve inside the bracket. We will simplify inside the bracket. It is of the form sin A cos B plus cos A sin B. So I will write here cosecant A as it is into this is a formula actually sin of B plus C. Observe they have given a clue for us in triangle ABC, we know in triangle ABC, angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equals to 180 degrees. Here I have B plus C. So I will separate them. B plus C is equals to 180 minus A. Then take sine both sides. Sine of B plus C is what? Sine of 180 minus A. Sine of 180 minus A is nothing but sin A only. So you can write sin B plus C is nothing but sin A. So here I can write cosecant A into sin A. Instead of sin B plus C, I am writing sin A. But we know cosecant A is 1 by sin A. 1 by sin A into sin A, which is nothing but 1. This is a clue which they have given that we need to utilize. So, which is the correct option? Option C is correct. Okay. They have given a uh, question again. A plus B plus C is 180. Then show that tan A plus tan B plus tan C is equals to tan A tan B tan C. Okay. Tan A plus tan B plus tan C is equals to, sorry. A plus B plus C is 180. Okay. What I can do here? A plus B plus C is equals to 180 degrees they have given. I can write here A plus B is equals to 180 minus 180 degrees minus C. Take tan both sides. Tan of A plus B is equals to tan of 180 minus C. Tan A plus B formula we can apply here tan A plus tan B by 1 minus tan A tan B that is equals to tan 180 minus C is minus tan C. Okay. Now send this denominator to the another side. We will get tan 
tan A plus tan B is equals to minus tan C minus into minus plus tan A tan B tan C. Okay, send this tan C term, this particular term on left hand side, we will get our answer. Tan A plus tan B plus tan C is equals to tan A into tan B into tan C. The same formula you may see like sigma tan A is equals to pi tan A. They may ask like this or like this. Both are same only. We will use the same principles if a plus b plus c is pi by 2. Then also we will find out tan a tan b tan c is equals to 1. Okay. That question also is there. Some more results you can see here. Some more results. Very important. Sin a plus b into sin a minus b. We have seen what if you add, what if you subtract here uh, it is given. What if you multiply sin square a minus sin square b or cos square b minus cos square a. What if you divide them? Sin a plus b by sin a minus b. Tan a plus tan b by tan a minus tan b. Cos a plus b into cos a minus b is cos square a minus sin square b or cos square b minus sin square a. Division, then multiplication of tan a plus b into tan a minus b. Using these, we can solve one question, very important question. Tan 45 plus A, apply tan A plus B formula only, which is nothing but tan 45 plus tan A divided by 1 minus tan 45 into tan A. Observe, we already know what is tan 45. Tan 45 is 1 plus tan A divided by 1 minus tan A. Okay. The same thing you can write in a different way like tan A is nothing but sin A by cos A divided by 1 plus sin A by cos A. Cross multiply, what you will get? Numerator. We will get cos A plus sin A by cos A whole divided by uh, it is minus I forgot cos A minus sin A by cos A and we can remove this cos and this cos finally we will get cos A plus sin A divided by cos A minus sin A Okay. Without calculating, we can tell the solution for this. The solution is cos A minus sin A divided by cos A plus sin A. This is one of the very important uh, result we can tell, which we will use in uh, many questions. Okay. Just see the same pattern. Angle is same, sin 9, cos 9 by cos 9, sin 9, which is nothing but, recall, recall once the formula, cos A plus sin A divided by cos A minus sin A is nothing but cos of pi by 4 plus A or 45 plus A, you may think. For easy reference. So you can write here cos of 45 plus 9 which is nothing but cos of 54 degrees. Okay, like this we will simplify. Of course, we will find out in a next session what is uh, cos 54 degrees also. Okay. Then see this question. Very interesting. What is cos 42, cos 78 plus cos 162 degrees? 
I don't know what is cos 42, what is cos 78. But if you observe, this 42 we can write like cos, I'm taking left hand side. Cos 42 I can write as 60 minus 18. Okay. 60 minus 18. This 78 we can write as cos of 60 plus 18. This 162 we can write as cos of 180 minus 80. So just observe. This is cos A minus B, cos A plus B. We have seen one formula in our uh, results itself. Just see. Cos of A plus B plus cos of A minus B. This one is nothing but 2 cos A cos B. We can use that formula. 2 cos A cos B. 2 cos A cos B. Cos B is nothing but 18. What is our formula that we are using? I will write with uh, green color. Cos of A plus B plus cos of A minus B is nothing but cos of uh, sorry 2 cos A cos B. Okay, then this cos 180 minus 18 is minus cos 180 minus theta. Cos 180 minus theta is minus cos theta. So we'll get minus cos 18. Then just observe 2 into cos 60 is 1 by 2. Cos 18 as it is I'm writing minus cos 18. 2, 2 will be cancelled and we'll get cos 18 minus cos 18, which is nothing but 0. This is our right hand side of the given question. So for this particular class, formulas plays a major role in solvation of any question. Let's see this. Sin square 82 and half minus sin square 22 and a half show this particular thing. We have a formula sin square A minus sin square B is nothing but sin of A plus B into sin of A minus B. Okay, sin of A minus B. So whenever you have the formula in your mind, automatically you can Analyze the pattern and you can write like that. So we will get sine of A plus B, 82 and a half plus 22 and a half. What you will get? 80 plus 20, 100, 105. 105 degrees into 80 minus 20, 60. Yes, into sine 60. Then what we will get? Just observe. Sine 105, what you can write? Sine 90 plus 15 into sine 60. Sine 60 value is nothing but sine 60 is, I am going to write sine 60 is root 3 by 2. Sine 90 plus theta is cos theta. So I can write here cos 15 into root 3 by 2. Already we found what is cos 15. Cos 15 we found already. Cos 15 is root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2. Just now we calculated this. Cos 15. So we will get here root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 root 2 into root 3 by 2. Just to multiply, you will get root 3 into root 3 is 3. Root 3 into 1 is root 3 only divided by 2 into 2 root 2 is 4 root 2. That is our right hand side. Hope everyone understood. Yes. And uh, that's all for this session. If there is any doubt and if I am missing any particular topic, any particular formula, just mention in the comment section. I will sure try to discuss in the next session. Thank you so much.